Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make your very own Gorilla Tag fan game. Now, if you want to get multiplayer, you will have to follow a different tutorial that I've made. Um, It will be in... Uh... Mm -hmm. It will be in the description on how to add multiplayer to your Gorilla Tank fan game and my um developing Discord, aka my Humble Monkeys Discord, is also down in the description. So if you want to get all extra scripts, there will be different videos there. So once you get invited here, if you don't see the channel, if you don't see the scripts down here, what you want to quickly do, if you don't see it, you want to come down here and click Show All Channels and Scripts. So I have teleport. I don't have high leaderboard, girl open, zero gravity haven't used yet. Photon, which is the multiplayer, and then better scene change, which is like a little secret video if you want. I have a pretty good community, and if you ever want to partner with us, you DM me. And then, yeah. So what you want to do is you want to go, I'll, I'll leave all the links down in the description. You want to go and down, so you want to go to the link in the description that is called Unity Hub Download, and then you want to go here. You want to click Download for Windows, and then just set it up and everything. You you may have to create an account. Once you've done, once you did that, let's load it up. You know, go to Installs. Install editor, and then the latest recommended version. You want to click install, and then add Android build support. So just click that. It may take a while to install. Once you've done that, we go to add new project. Make sure it's 3D core. It should automatically set that. I'm gonna name this um, how to make make a fan game. Once you've done that, I'm just gonna put it in whatever just like put it whatever folder you want. You won't see the organization. I'm just gonna put it under um that. Once you've done that, just click create project and then it will take a while to load. Just give it a sec, and it will, it, yeah, it will take a little, but. All right, so mine just loaded. It, if it looks a little weird, go up, go here to layout, and then click default. And if you need to adjust things, you can. I like it like this, and I like my, whoops. And then I like my camera FRV to 90. So if you want to just click that, and then you can change your FRV to like at 90. Um, by the way, if you want to change the speed of your camera, you can hold your right click and then scroll up. So I probably going to leave it at one for right now. Yeah. Um, if you don't want the icons, just click this little button and how the, and how you move is you hold right click and then you WASD. If you just use WASD normally, nothing will happen. If you want, yeah. Um. So next thing you want to do is you want to go up to Edit, Project Settings. You want to get, go to XR Plugin Management and then install XR Plugin Management. All right, once it said it once it gives you like a warning like this, just click yes and then it will reinstall the editor so the um plugin can like completely like install itself. All right. Once it's open, you might see these errors if you just click fix all. And then down here will be like some script like just fixing or whatever. All right, and then it says open XR, at least one interaction profile might be added. Click edit. And then click that. Click Oculus Touch Profile. And then Valve Index. 
change single pass to multi pass, and then over here in the Android thing, like single pass to multi pass, and then enabled interaction profiles, like Oculus Touch control profile. Once you did that, go back to XR plugin management, make sure you're on the Android tab, and then click Oculus. All right, once it's done that, you want to go here to Oculus, change multi view to multi pass. Um, single pass, multi pass, go back to the Android tab, change a low, um, change low overhead mode on, put that on. All right, now you have XR completely set up. You can close out of that. Oh crap. <laughs> and then you, you have to go to window, package manager. Now, I will leave this as a copy and paste down in the description. So, all right. And once you copy the thing down in the description, you go here up to this plus, go to add package from git URL, paste it in, and then click add. Once it's done, you may have to click on it again. Once it is installed, you want to go over here to samples, and then starter assets, click import. That's crazy. And if you get these errors again, just click fix all, and then it's fine. Now you can close the package manager. In starter assets, click that. Alright. Now once you're done, you want to go here to presets, and it's like the Among Us, tap, like the wire thing. You want to click this, and then click add to continuous move profile profile provider default on every single one so just i'm gonna, I'm gonna speed this up go back to assets go to edit project settings go to preset manager and then controller input action manager for the right controller type in right and then for the left controller type in left now do control s or to save, or you go up to file and then, oh crap, and you go to file and then just click save. Now that you're done with that, there will be a link in the description with the Gorilla Locomotion. Or if you, or if you don't want to use it, you can literally just search Gorilla Locomotion. And it's here. Click yes. And then click raw, and then it will download. Once it's downloaded, right click, import package, custom package, downloads, Gorilla Locomotion, click enter. All and we will have. Oh, yeah. If it says reload, just click reload, and then you'll see some other files pop in. You can delete the main camera by clicking on the main camera and click delete on your keyboard. Now, just like to make like a cube to stand on, you can go here. So, like, right click, 3D object, cube. And I'm, I like this being organized, so I'm going to put it at 000. And then these are all the options. So, this is like the hand drag, so like you just drag your character. This is the move tool. Uh, this is the rotate. And if you want like a more specific rotate, you can hold control. And then, yeah, it snaps. This is scale. And this is like better scale. So, if you want to drag it like that, and then if you want to go from the side, yeah. I'm going to keep it at this, and I'm going to use these tools. And the last tool is everything. So, it's literally everything combined into one. And this, it's like the box glider. So the like glider, I would not mess with that. Don't don't change the box glider. So if you need to, you can resize it. And then to make materials, you just go to here, right click, create folder. I'm just gonna name it mats. I spelled it wrong, but doesn't matter. 
double click, create, and then material. I'm gonna name it grass. And go here. And you can change the color if you want. And then turn on the smoothness. Drag it on there. But if you want like a more detailed thing, you can go here, import new asset, and then find like a grass photo on the internet. I'm just gonna search a grass. Grass texture, what I have, import, and then once you have a grass texture, you can drag it onto this. And if you want the texture to be smaller, you can go here to tilling, and you can set it to like five and five. Now it's more like yeah. And then as soon as you apply it, it will be automatically textured. Turn the smoothness. And now you have grass. And you can make whatever texture you want by doing that. Once you have a cube, make sure it has box flood or it somehow doesn't. Click add component, just type in box and then add it like that. Once you do that, you want to go to resources, real prefabs. Drag that in. Now you can set wherever you want, and it automatically has the main camera, and everything is set up. So you just click play, and then you can move the spheres, aka like your controllers, in the game, and you can see how the movement works. Click the lower arrow, real player, and then the left hand controller. It doesn't matter which one you use, and you can. Hit the ground, and then you bounce up. Boing, boing. Dang, I go high. Dang! Boing, boing, boing. You get the point. So I'm going to scale this cube up a little more. Set the tilling to maybe 10 this time. Uh, and you can also change the offset. So like that. I'm not gonna mess with this though. Once you did that, your game is basically done. The next thing I'm gonna show you is how to export it. But before that, I will play test the game and I will show you that it actually worked. Let me get on my VR, VR headset and I will connect and I will show you that it works. Alright, I'm... Well, I'm sticking to the ground. That's not good. Probably because I'm lagging. Wait, as you can see, I'm playing in VR. Why am I sticking? <clears throat> oh, well, I'm getting major... Okay, now I'm good. As you can see, I'm successfully playing my game. Um, everything works like it's supposed to. Um, oh crap. But yeah, that's how you, next I'm going to show you how to build your game or like add it, make a file so you can actually get it standalone on your quest. Here's how to do it. All right. Now once you're back here. Don't mind these errors. They don't. They don't matter. Once you did that, you want to go up to File, Build Settings, Add Open Scenes, Layer Settings. Oh wait, hold on, no. And then we go here to Android and click Switch Platform. It will take a little while to load, as usual. Just wait, and then you'll be good. All right, once it's done, player settings, and then click Key Store Manager, Key Store, Create New Anywhere. Just click Save. Type in a top secret password. You'll set the alleys or a lot alias to whatever you. Whatever you name the game, so I'm just gonna copy that. Then password, type in your password again. Mm 
validate 50 years. Oh, crap. Is that at 50? This is all optional. Is that organization to, like, what your studio name is or, like, your YouTube name? So I'm just going to send it to the Man GP. Click Add. Click Yes. Once you did that, you close out of this. But before you update your game, this is what you always do whenever you update your game. You go to Other Settings. First, after set this to Layer. Linear is the best. So just set that to linear and then you're fine. Once you're done, every time you update the game, you will have to change this. So if you update your game once to so like a bug fix, we'll set that to point two. You set the bundle bundle version code to two. And if we say it's your hundredth update, I don't know. It would be like one hundred and then like ten point zero, whatever. But no, it's my first update. I'm going to have that at point one. So you've done that, you can close out of that, and every time you have to build, you can just you have to set your password. Once you did that, keep it on use player settings, 32 bit, leave it there. Actually, no, set this to ASTC. And then run device, set this to all compatible devices. Make sure development build is off and all of these are off. Make sure this is LZ4, ASCC 32 bit, so compatible devices. Perfect. And then now, once you're done, just click build. And then I'm just going to put it on. Here and click save. And then once you did that, if you don't know how to use side quests, that's a whole different tutorial. But if you do know how to use side quests, connect your um, Oculus to your computer or Meta Quest, whatever you want to call it, and then install it, and then everything will work out. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I will definitely do more tutorials. If you join my Discord, there is a tutorial idea thing. Um, so you just have to go to Pub uh no. Hubble Monkeys. What? No, it's Unity stuff, sorry. And then Tut Ideas. Let me just put that up there. And then you can make whatever tutorial like idea you want. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. I hope this helped. Um, yeah, I love you. Mwah.